Okay, we're starting up the driveway. Say hi. <laughs> Walk over to the pasture. We'll walk down the driveway. We have three walnut trees. The, the wonderful well head in a wishing well. We'll come out and we can look into the side pasture with all the irrigation. We have a great scented honeysuckle. We're on the edge of the property line looking back. We'll come across the front of the house, the parking area in the driveway. Tracy waving at everybody. There's the house. We have one shed back there. And of course, we've already made friends, picked up another tractor. Look out, this is a gate into the pasture. So we have one, two, three, four, and five more walnut trees back over here. That's the big shed there. And you can't quite see it through all the trees, but there's a barn there and we'll walk out in the pasture and take a video of that barn. But back underneath here, we were unloading stuff and looked up, and unbeknownst to us, we found this little thing, which is the hummingbird nest with some baby birds in it. We've, we've found about 10 birds nests so far that we've been here. Standing underneath the walnut trees, looking out into the pasture. We have irrigation sprinklers sticking up through all of it. You can see the river, and just on the other side of the river is the highway. We'll come around, those are those same walnut trees that we saw on the other side. We come around to the barn. One thing is for sure, this place is gonna take a lot of cleaning. That's back towards the house. This is the barn. It has a full hayloft with floor in it above. We got a gate that goes off and children running around screaming like crazy. We'll go around. It's actually got two stalls on the back side. I don't know if you can quite see it, but the river is just off the back here. That's that blue line down in there. So this is the back of the one shed we got over here. And then we actually have two stalls with power in the barn on the back side. We're gonna be redoing lots of fence while we're here too. Other side of the barn, we'll probably be doing metal roofing over the top of that. And then we'll come out the gate here 
that leads back over to the house. I'm surprised Tansen's not screaming and running. So back over here, we have that shed. So we got plenty of room to store all the tractors that we have. And then we, not sure yet, but we think those may be a bunch of choke cherries down here. And then we have the, the death trap coming up. And the death Lock trap cabin, is a collapsing cabin. 1930s cabin. cabin shed. And here's the side of the house coming around. And this mysterious thing is a actual pond with some goldfish in it. We'll have to go up on the back porch. There it goes. So up on the back porch, you can see that shed over there, but of course Tracy had to go cut down the bush so she could see the river. There's the, the log death trap. But we have two of these trees covered with these flowers. And then we have the river view all the way down there doesn't quite look like it but it's pretty steep all the way down to the river we have a locust of some sort there we have corkscrew willow growing and guess what we have over here we have another walnut tree let's go down over here to the shed So you can see the river down there, another walnut tree. We come to the shed with this interesting concrete stucco work on the outside. And we come into the mess of the shed. Yes, it is lath and plaster on the inside. So this is gonna be another thing we're gonna spend a lot of time gutting, cleaning up and redoing. And there's porch the other side of the house and then we go back out there where we park we'll start up here on the far side of the property the kids have already been ecstatic because they have literally their own gigantic sandbox we have tons of birds at least 10 bird nests that we know of and we come down here and we have literally a beach along there that we're gonna have to clear off and do some work on. But we have these great, huge trees on the river. They're just sprawled out. Already having problems keeping my daughter from climbing them constantly. So we have these great tree canopy all right along the river. We come out over here. We can see this is the Okanagan River. And that's that section of the river line. We have to go around all the brush. We can see the wonderful death trap that I gotta try and tear apart. That's not the camera angle. That the whole thing is tilted, twisted, and trying to fall apart. Here we are coming through the trail. Following up, we have the other side of the death trap. We have the shed up there. And then we have this little bench that sits roughly for standing here. Top of my head doesn't even come to those tiles in the houses. 
all the way up there. We're probably a good eight, 10 feet lower. We have all these trees and bushes. And we come along here, we can just barely see the river there. And then we come around and yep, that's the backside of the barn and the shed. So there you can see that shed on the back and then the back porch there and all that white lattice I gotta tear off of there. So most of this is just gonna be berry bushes and area for the kids to play in that. Looking out onto the river there. So the current idea is we're gonna be planting fruit trees and doing hopefully livestock underneath the fruit trees. That far corner out there is really sandy and we already got prickly pear cactus to plant out there and we're looking at getting some mesquite to plant in that far dry corner. We uh, went and cut all the grass down because we had huge mice problems. They had completely left the mice uncontrolled with no predators and we had mice everywhere. Cutting down the grass has gotten rid of the mice and Look at that, that robin on top of the post there and a couple other birds out in the field absolutely love us. They've been just doing nothing but going through that whole fresh cut grass area. So we're going to be planting probably 60 apple trees in here or apple and fruit trees of different types. And we're going to be building at least one, if not two ponds, one up on top of the rise out there and another one probably out over here as we come down in elevation. Here we are at the front of the house. We're not sure yet, we gotta get up inside there, see what the floor's like, but it's actually a story and a half. We have these two windows on each side. And we'll go inside here. We've spent two days cleaning and I swear we're gonna spend at least another week Here we are coming in and that is actually a real antique wagon wheel that we got up there for a chandelier. You can see the logs in there. We come around and the huge heatilator fireplace that we're probably going to put a pellet stove insert because my wife doesn't like starting fires. We come to the other side, we have spent a good deal of the time tearing the carpet out. As you can see, we have to refinish the whole floor. The most interesting part is the hatchway that used to go to the basement before they added stairs into the basement. And of course we got this lovely archway. And then we have the nightmare that is the dirty rest of the house that will take at least another week to clean or more. And we have to strip all the flooring and carpeting out and we're gonna be changing everything up. But that pretty much sums it up. Right here is what Tracy likes the most. You can see that chandelier hanging up there and that huge fireplace covered in stone.